The Hindenburg was an engineering masterpiece, an airship as large and as grand as the Titanic, and as doomed, built by the Zeppelin Company in Germany during the 1930s, and at a time when flying a passenger plane across the Atlantic was a difficult and perilous journey. The great dirigibles crossed the ocean with serene and effortless grace. But the popularity of the Hindenburg was clouded in political controversy. Funds for its construction had come in large part from Germany's Nazi party. The United States, which controlled the only natural deposits of helium in the world, denied the Zeppelin company access to this valuable gas. As a result, the Hindenburg was inflated with hydrogen, a far more flammable substance. In 1936 alone, the great airship traveled ten times across the Atlantic without incident. The afternoon of May 6, 1937, promised to be no different. Well, here it comes, ladies and gentlemen. We're out now, outside of the hangar, and what a great sight it is. A thrilling one. On hand to record and the arrival of the Hindenburg at Lakehurst the Naval Air Station in New Jersey that day was a young Chicago the radio the reporter roared, named Herb Morrison. In Instead, like Morrison the helped radio to broadcast one of modern history's great disasters as it suddenly unfolded in all its terrible glory. The back motors of the ship are just holding it... Just enough to keep it from... It's burst into flames. Get this, Charlie. Get this, Charlie. It's crashing. Fr- it's crashing. It's crashing. Terrible. Oh, my. Get out of the way, please. It's burning, bursting into flames and, and it's falling on the morning pass and all the folks between that this is terrible. This is one of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, it's... it's, 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 it's the place is 20... Oh, four or five hundred feet into the sky. And it, it's a terrific crash, ladies and gentlemen. The smoke and the flames now. And the frame is crashing to the ground. Not quite to the mooring mass. All the humanity and all the passengers screaming around it. I, I can't talk, ladies and gentlemen. Lakehurst, New Jersey. The German dirigible Hindenburg is on fire. How serious is the blaze cannot be determined at this time. But it is reported that the entire ship is involved. This bulletin is from the Press Radio Bureau. 35 passengers died in the explosion of the Hindenburg. Perhaps more incredibly, a few passengers survived. What caused the ship to ignite remains speculative to this day. What is certain is that the explosion signaled the death knell of the passenger airship industry. But even as Herb Morrison's eyewitness report that day chronicled the end of one era, it signaled the beginning of another.